Yemen is on top of the list of humanitarian disasters. It's happening in the middle of a region of a lot of turmoil. So it's the combination on the one side of humanitarian suffering and on the other side, some immense strategic geopolitical stakes involving outside parties, regional powers, meddling, participating, activating this conflict. There are internal dynamics in Yemen, but they are being magnified by powers in the region coming from the outside, fighting out to the last Yemenite. Here is a difficulty. How can you defend the interest of vulnerable people if you don't have a, a voice that really uh, bears in the, in, in the international um, uh, arena? And that's where I think uh, organizations like Crisis Group come in, because we can analytically explain what's happening. We can appeal to uh, the conscience of people when it, when it comes to the, uh, the, the suffering and the humanitarian toll, but also geopolitical interests, hardcore security policy interests. And, and I think the important part here has been to remind the international community how this conflict could really explode into something much, much worse. The crisis group really had made an impact here on avoiding major military escalation around this uh, harbour uh, town of Hodeida, uh, where there was an imminent attack and what that could have led to. I think uh, we can study how we were able to make an impact there, how ICG leadership had access to key parties inside Yemen, but also outside Yemen. And that's not something you build easily. It's built on 25 years of reputation. Mm -hmm.